Also new at 6, a police chase ends in a crash on the city's northwest side. Officers caught the suspect, but not before he slammed into a car parked on the street. Sean Gallagher spoke with the car owners about what they woke up to. You know, car thieves are making off with cars at an alarming rate. MPD says that there have already been 399 car thefts in January alone, but that number doesn't include everyone affected. There's no cars on the street now, but late Saturday night, a parked car took the brunt of a police chase. Out of nowhere, I heard skid marks from tires and a big boom. Tammy Stingle and her boyfriend were in shock when they saw his car had been hit and police were everywhere. Seen my worst nightmare. For Bobby, he only had the car for about seven or eight months, and he says this is all just unfair. It's God's will, but at the same time, like, why me, you know? Like, I've been doing everything right, why me? Yeah, I work hard for mine. Nothing we could really do, and we parked the car legally, so we just are kind of out now. And they're both grateful no one was seriously hurt. But frustrations bubble up knowing they've been inconvenienced for someone else's wrongdoing. No one should be in a position that we're in where they lose their possessions that they've worked hard for over someone being careless. Now, Tammy and Bobby are still waiting for estimates to see if the car can be salvaged. Near 70th and Silver Spring, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.